Welcome to the Scruffy and Ruffy Gardening Channel. Now this is my compost pile. I've made it from some of this mesh. Um, I call it finch mesh. I don't know what it's called where you live. It's got a, quite a lot of strength in itself. I just loop it around. I have a clip and a bit of wire so I can just unclip, pull it off, move it to the next spot, shovel the contents in and turn. Now my compost is made from mulch hay and free manure and chook poo and shredded paper from my job. Um, I don't have a lot of kitchen scraps for my compost because I have chickens, which I'll probably refer to as chooks quite a lot because I'm in Australia. I have dogs for any meat scraps and I have worm farms. So any of those higher order scraps are taken care of before they would get to a compost pile. I can turn them into eggs, chicken, happy dogs and worm juice, which I consider to be more valuable. So I get mulch hay bales, which are generally about six Australian dollars each um, here and I can cart them home in the back of my car. Don't ask me what the inside of the back of my car looks like. Bags of manure, friend with stables, I can go and get the manure. So it started off this pile, it was actually as high as the wire to begin with. It started off just here. I put the wire, I layered all the ingredients, giving a mist of water throughout so that they would be damp. That was probably about two or three weeks ago. Heated up nicely, cooled down a bit, and I thought, well, might be time to move it. So I undid the wire, pulled the wire off, the netting, put the netting in a new spot and then I just shoveled the contents in. But this time I'd also cleaned out my chicken house and had a lot of chicken manure, a couple of bucketfuls. fulls. So I layered chicken manure amongst it as well, dampening each layer down as, as I went and rebuilt the pile. I'm not sure if it's going to need another turn or not. We'll see in a couple of weeks how it looks, whether it needs another turn. But I was also careful where I first put the compost, now is a weed free, clear, compost rich spot. There's been a lot of leachate from the compost pile there. There's bits of compost and manure left there. So I have a nice spot. I've got some pumpkin seedlings and I'll probably end up putting them there. So I, where I put my pile to begin with was where I knew I was going to want to plant something because I wanted to use the space left behind. Naturally, this space, if I do turn it again, will be a space left behind and I know I can plant in that space. I haven't got my compost pile away from where my actual garden is. One of the advantages of this kind of mesh is that it comes on a roll. So I can transport it in my car from the hardware store to here. I don't need a trailer for big sheets of uh, reinforcing mesh, that type of thing. Something that comes on a roll it's much easier for me to get here and easier for me to deal with once it's here. Just here I have a patch where I previously had a minor pile of compost and I've planted some pumpkins. The little fence around is actually to stop things like wallabies from digging the, these up. It won't actually stop them but it's a bit of a deterrent and they might get to be a bit bigger before something finds them. I'll I've also planted cassava just there in there in that netting there there's some sweet leaf and under those rocks is a dear sweet dead dog. 